Some middle school students in Holyoke will have a new technology at their fingertips to enhance their learning. Both Peck Middle School and STEM Academy have joined the Verizon Innovative Learning, which is donating more than 500 iPads. Carolee McGrath sat down with STEM Academy administrators to learn more. STEM Academy was the lucky recipient of the Verizon Innovative Learning Grant. Uh, the grant was applied for prior to my time uh, arriving at STEM, um, but uh, now I'm here on the receiving end of what was, uh, had, to be, had to have been a lot of work to get this done. Uh, the grant is going to provide every one of our kids and every one of our staff members with an iPad. The iPad, obviously they have access to the internet, educational apps, uh, and access to technology. The one piece about the iPad that makes it really unique is that uh, the students also as part of the grant get data, anywhere between five and eight megabytes of data weekly, which allows them to access things from home. So that's a big thing. Um, yeah. If we can talk a little bit about the technology gap that a lot of inner cities and, and rural communities often face, that has to be a challenge as a teacher, you know, knowing that maybe kids don't have the same access at home. Correct. So many of our students come in with cell phones and they have some of that technology knowledge, but they really don't have the broad knowledge of technology that a lot of other students have. Just how to browse the internet safely, how to even look up keywords, um, how to open Google documents or spreadsheets. So by having the iPads, our students are gonna learn all of those things too. Okay, and tell me a little bit about your role um, in this new grant. So Verizon was very smart in not just giving out iPads to children. They also knew that there was going to be a lot of teaching that had to happen for the teachers in order to embed technology in a meaningful way into classrooms. We don't wanna just um, replace worksheets. We don't want to just replace books. We want to actually have children be thoughtful and, and critical thinkers. So by training the teachers to teach in a certain way where we're flipping the classroom a little bit will help children become more of creators, use their content knowledge to create things rather than just be consumers of technology all the time, which is really what they are right now at home. They're very passive. It's all very consumption based. So this way, teachers are going to use a variety of technology of apps that the iPads have to get kids thinking more creatively about the content and about authentic problems in the world and hopefully coming up with some really great products as a result to show their learning. Give us some examples of how it will be used. Like I know that they're sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. So you know, social studies, how would it be implemented there? So if a teacher's feeling very comfortable with technology, they might have an entire Google Classroom community set up where almost all assignments are being given to children via the classroom, which is something that happens on the cloud. They might also do some creative things with Google Maps, where instead of just opening an atlas and looking at a map, now they're using Google Maps to look at the three-dimensional Google Earth uh, features of a place, maybe they're actually creating their own civilizations using some Google Map technology applications. Um, social studies teachers can also, if they're feeling very comfortable in advance, they can also reach out to other people. One of the things that we're so excited about with the iPads is getting in touch with experts. Now our kids can, um, with facilitation by teachers, can reach out to experts around the world and talk to people about ancient civilizations, archaeologists, etc. It depends on how um, comfortable the teacher is on how far they'll go this first year. Okay, and tell me a little bit about how this helps with the mission of STEM Academy to have this technology available. Well, I think STEM, just STEM in the name, uh, science, technology, engineering, and math uh, would make sense to have a school with that in the name and not have the, the te technology available to our kids. But I also think technology in and of itself, it, it changes every single day. And these kids are on a way faster pace than we ever were or ever will will be. Um, you know, I have a smartphone, I'm sure you do. I know, she, I know Dr. Laura does. Um, and I'm limited to making phone calls, taking a picture, texting and you know maybe go on an app or two but these kids know everything and they pick it up so much faster so I think you have an engagement tool in front of you you have access to amazing apps and amazing things all over, all over the world and they're changing every day and if our kids are excited by technology which they've proven because they all have most of them have cell phones and they, they can't put those down they have that engagement tool if we can find something within the technology that can keeps them engaged 
and is an extension of their learning in their classroom or is new learning for them, I think we're doing the right thing. Right now, 12% of the engineers graduating from college are minorities. And we know that we have a huge need for STEM careers, people who are trained in the STEM careers in our country and in our future. Um, and so we want our kids to be ready for that. Many of our students have never even heard of some of the, the careers out there. And our goal is to introduce them to what is it, what is a marine biologist, what is an astrophysicist, and make sure they know what these careers are so that they can start having goals and maybe dreams to become one.